Good morning, church. This is the day the Lord have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Let us stand. I shall may let those on the outside in. Let us pray. Oh, loving and kind Father, we are so thankful for this beautiful Sunday morning that you blessed us to see. Thank you, Father, for guiding us through the ice and through the snow. We've come this morning to praise your holy name. We've come to give you all of the glory and all of the honor. Now, Father God, it is my prayer that the Holy Spirit will come now, rule and reign over our service today. It is in the name of Christ we ask. Amen. be seated in the presence of the Lord. Usher may let those on the outside in if there be any. Hymn of praise by the choir.
John, starting at the 6th chapter, and I read down to the 13th verse. And it reads as follows. After these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed, followed him, mm -hmm. because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were dis uh, diseased. And Jesus went up into the mountains, and there he sat with his disciples. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes, he saw a great company come unto him. He said unto Philip, What shall we buy bread that these may eat? And this he said to prove him for he himself knew what would do. Philip answered him, 200 pennies worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. Mm -hmm. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said unto him, there is a lad here which has five barley loaves and two small fishes, mm -hmm. but what are they among so many. Amen. And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the, the place. Mm -hmm. So the men sat down in number about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them that were set down, and likewise of the fishes as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto the, his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, yes. that nothing be lost. Amen. Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets yeah. with the fragments yeah. of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Lord, out a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Father, I stretch my hand to thee. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. For no other help I know. And thou shall we grow that self from us. Oh, where shall we go? As again, our Heavenly Father, we have bowed our heads before the mother does. We bow with thanksgiving in our heart. Thank you for last night's sleep. Thank you for the guiding angel that watched over all night long. Sometime early this morning, you touched our body. And we behold another new day. We want to say thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. We let us see another day. Thank you, Father, for all that you have been to us. You have brought us from a mighty long ways through seen and unseen things. 
but we are still here. We want to say thank you. Thank you for our family. Thank you for our loved ones. Thank you, Father, for those who came come to church this morning. Those who are in, uh, somewhere in a rest home. Those who are in the hospital. Bless those that are on the battlefield. Those that are fighting the war. Bless those, Father, don't have nowhere to lay their head. Bless those who can't. Those who had on nowhere to go. I ask the Father, give them understanding that you have all power in your hand. You see all things. You know all things. You know what we need even before we ask. You said in your word we have nothing because we don't ask nothing. We don't ask nothing in your name. That's why I'm calling on your holy name right now. We ask your Father to come in this service. Carry it out in your own willing way. Bless the choir that sang the praising song. Bless the waiting congregation. Bless the man that's going to stand in John's group. Tell a dying world that Jesus died on the cross. Early one Sunday morning. Early. Early on Sunday morning. Early. He got up yeah. with all power. Yeah. Some, some power. Yeah. With all, yeah. all power. All power. Yeah. That's in your name. That's in your name we pray. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 We thank Deacon Tabor for that rich scripture and thank Reverend Eatman for that very fervent prayer. Yeah. Hymn of adoration. The usher may let those on the outside in if there be any. If I walk in the pathway of duty, oh Lord, if I work to the close of the day, mm -hmm, I will see the great King and all his beauty. Oh, when I last mile of the way oh, when I've gone the last mile of the way I shall dream at the close of the day 
Cause I know there'll be joys there awaiting When I've gone last mile of the way If for Christ I proclaim the glass glory She gonna stray. Mm -hmm. I am sure he will show me all his glory. Oh, when I've gone the last mile all the way. Oh, when I. Cause I know there'll be joys there awaiting when I've gone the last mile. And if here I have earnestly striven. Oh Lord, and have tried all his will to obey. Mm -hmm. Twill enhance the rapture of heaven when I've gone the last mile all the way. Oh, when I've gone the last mile of the way, I shall rest at the close of the day. Because I know there'll be joy, joy, joy awaiting. Oh, when I've gone. The last mile of the way. Oh, when I've gone the last mile of the way. Oh, oh, yeah. I shall rest at the close of the day. Because mm -hmm. I know. There'll be joy, joy, joy awaiting For when I've gone The last mile Usher may let those on outside in Thank you, choir And I've gone the last smile yes, sir. of the way. May we listen to our morning's announcements. COVID-19 is still present. I encourage everyone to get all of your shots, get your final booster. Please continue to wear your mask and Continue to do your six feet social distancing and wash your hands often. Masks are still required if you plan to attend any of our services here at Red Oak. Your safety is our first priority. We're now in the 18th day of our Lenten season. On Tuesday, March, the 14th, the Tar River Missionary Baptist Association will convene with the White Oak Baptist Church in Middlesex beginning at 10 a.m. 
Now I want to encourage all of you who are retired and don't have to go to work on Tuesday to meet us at the White Oak Baptist Church. Reverend Pugh will conduct a workshop on church leadership. And if you are an officer here and you're retired, I certainly want to see your face in the place on Tuesday because I think that this workshop will be very vital to all church officers as well as members. We all need to know what we're supposed to be doing. And we found out the main thing we're supposed to be doing, we found it out in Sunday school this morning that we're supposed to be building up the kingdom of God. Yes. Yes. Amen? Yes. It's not about the position that you hold in church, right. but it's about building up the kingdom. Uh -huh. What are you doing to help build the kingdom. All right. We all should be about kingdom building. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. There are no big eyes and little U's in the house of God. Yes. Somebody ought to say amen when you hear the yes. truth. Yes. Amen. amen. Another great point this morning was that we shouldn't do anything that would cause someone to stumble or fall. Mm -hmm. The Bible said it'd be better that a millstone be hung around your neck yes. than to hinder someone who's coming to me. That's what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? So please, ma'am, please, sirs, meet us there at 10 o'clock. We won't. I'm going to run right on through the session. Uh, at first, it's on the program that we will come back one o'clock, but since uh, COVID, we're not serving dinner. We're gonna work right on through the session, and we're hoping that we'll be out by 12.30 or one o'clock. So uh, from 10 to 12 is not bad. So please make a sacrifice and meet us at uh, White Oak uh, Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. There will be mass choir rehearsal immediately following the morning service here today. All members of the mass choir, please remain over for the rehearsal today. Please continue to pray for our sick and our shut-in, Sister Doretha Spate, Sister Dorothy Carpenter, Dr. Linda Tabron, Sister Doris Lucas, Sister Nicole Dunn, and Sister Edna Murphy had to go to urgent care this morning, I believe I was told. Please continue to pray for Reverend Roosevelt Winstead, Brother Carl Ray Tabern, we thank God he's here today. Amen. Brother Leon Tabern, Brother Frankie Tony, Brother J.C. Morgan, Brother Milton Lucas, Brother Bob Earl Tabern, Brother LaRue Davis, Reverend Matthew Wiley, Brother Bruce Boyd, and Brother James Davis. I have some thank you cards to thank each one of you to my Red Oak Grove Church family, we would like to thank you all for your thoughts and prayers. Please continue to pray for Nicole, Nicole and the rest of the family as she continues to recover. Sincerely, Nikki Lucas and family. Knowing people nice as you gives life a brighter touch. And so to each and all of you, thanks so very, very much. Thank you. The Reverend Woodhouse of Red Oak Grove Missionary Members and President Darlene Eatman. Doll, we will buy flowers to go on Ann's headstone. Your thoughtfulness means so much more than words can say again. Thanks. Blessing, Sister Murphy. Let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon you. Psalm 9017. To Red Oak, thank you for everything, and I appreciate the call and give. Thank you 
Uh, I'm praying again. Thank you so much, Sister Mary Langley. Thank God she's here today. Thanks from me to the Red Oak Grove Church family. Just a little line or two to bring my warmest thanks to you. Thank you for your phone calls, prayers, monetary gifts, and concern. Love, Brother Bobby Earl Tabor. Amen. Our thought for today, live every day of your life like it was your last. Let me say that again. Live every day of your life like it was your last. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. It's now time for our offering. Yes, Brother Carver. All right. All right. Amen. 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 Yes. When is it? Yes, thank you. Mission meeting for Sunday after service. Immediately following the morning service, President Eatman will meet with all of the missionaries. Thank you so much for reminding me of that. Um, and I'm glad um, Brother Carl Rose said that because some people, if you don't put them on the sick list, they get upset. Yes, sir. And uh, if you don't want your name up here and removed, then let me know and I'll do like Bubba Carl Ray's has requested that we do. But um, y'all won't know what Pastor has to go through with sometimes. I got a call, somebody laid me out and said, You didn't put me on the sick list. I didn't even know they were sick. So when you're sick, don't assume that I know. That's right. Call me. I'd be glad to put you on the sick list. Amen? Thank you so much. Usher will now in charge for the offering. Let's prepare to give our gifts to the Lord.
Let us stand. All things come of thee, O Lord. seated. Let us now prepare for the Holy Word, sermonic selection from the meal course.
Nobody can play it like Tierra. No, sir. To God be the glory for the great and marvelous things that he's doing right now in each one of our lives. From the scripture that Deacon Tabern read this morning, the sixth chapter of John, first 13 verses. But I want to lift up that ninth verse for our text for the morning. There is a lad here which have five barley loaves and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? This morning I want to preach from the subject when a little becomes much. When a little becomes much. My brothers and my sisters, this is one of the greatest miracles in the Bible. Go ahead. In our text for the morning, Jesus has spent the day mm -hmm. ministering to the people. He tells the disciples, let us go to a desert place and rest for a while. So Jesus gets in the boat with his disciples and they went into the sea of Galilee. And even though Jesus leaves the crowd behind, great multitudes still followed him because they saw his miracles and his healings. The text says when Jesus lifted up his eyes and saw the great crowd come unto him he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd and he began to teach them many things but the disciples said this is a desert place send them away that they may go into the country and villages and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. Yeah. Uh -huh. But Jesus said to his disciples, you give them something to eat. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, they had just told Jesus we can't feed this large crowd. Yes. We don't have any money and we don't have any food. But Jesus will not accept their response. He wants to get them involved in the grand adventure of helping other people. I hear the disciples saying to each other, he wants us to feed them. I thought Jesus was a great miracle worker. I thought Jesus could fix anything. So let's turn it over 
to Jesus. Uh-huh. That's what we sing on Sunday morning. Turn it over to Jesus. Yeah. And he will work it out. Yeah. But the disciples forgot Matthew 19, 26. Mm-hmm. With men, this is impossible. Mm-hmm. But with God, all, all things yeah. are possible. Yeah. I wish I had one with me. Yeah. Jesus says again, you give them something to eat. And the disciples said to Jesus, Shall we go and buy 200 pennies worth of bread and give them to eat? But Jesus said, No, don't, don't go into town. Don't, 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 don't buy no bread. What I want you to do is to do like we do on Google. Do a people search. Search the crowd that's already here to see how much bread is in the crowd. Then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to Jesus, there's a lad here yeah. with five barley loaves yeah. mm-hmm. and two small fish. But what are they among so many? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've come to tell you, Red Oak, never overlook small things yeah. when it comes to Jesus. Just because something is small doesn't mean that God can't use it. Isn't it amazing what the Sunday school lesson said this morning that the disciples, Jesus said, I'm getting ready to die now. I'm getting ready to be betrayed. I'm getting ready to die. I'm going going on away from here. Mm -hmm. And so the disciples even said now, He's going away now. Who's going to be the greatest? Uh Uh Who's going to be the greatest since since you're leaving? And what did Jesus do? He called for a little child. Talking about small things. Mm -hmm. All those grown folk around Jesus. But Jesus... Reaches out for a little child. Brings the child and puts him in his lap and said, You want to know who the greatest? Except you'd be like this little child of hope. Uh You won't even enter the kingdom of God. Talking about when a little becomes much. Don't you know? He used a baby's tears to attract Pharaoh's daughter to save Moses from death. Little baby's tears. Talking about small things. He used Moses' little rod to deliver the children of Israel. Uh He used a little teenage boy named David Uh with one small, smooth stone to defeat the mighty giant Goliath. And in our text for today, he uses 
five barley loaves, two small fish. When you do the research, it said the fish were about like two sardines. To feed 5,000. Right. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Yeah. Some point in our lives, Jesus puts us in a situation like the disciples. He puts us in a situation where we are doomed to failure yeah. uh -huh. in order to force us to depend totally upon him. Can I get a witness? Amen. So when the miracles in your life takes place, he does it so that he can get all of the glory. Uh -huh. I don't care what you did. I don't care where you've been. I don't care what you got. God gave it to you. Yes. Yeah. Don't care how many degrees hanging on your wall. Care how much, how big your bank account is. Whatever you got, yeah. it came from God. Yeah. You, you got in the scripture, I show have every good and perfect gift comes from above. So, sometimes, we find ourselves in desperate straits with no way out. You ever been there? God allows it to happen so we can cry out to him for deliverance. You ever been sick and the doctor's medicine didn't work? But you call on God. You've been taking everything for that migraine and it wouldn't move. But when you call on God, you felt an ease coming in your head. Can I get a witness? And when he brings you out of your dilemma, you ought to give him the glory. You ought to give him the honor. I know that sometimes it's stressful not having enough money to pay your bills. I know it's stressful mm -hmm. to be backed in a corner and no way out All right. to meet the need in front of you. And still, Jesus says to us, what he says to the disciples, the people are hungry. You give them something to eat. The fact that something is impossible is no excuse for not trying to do it. Do I have a witness? If Moses had taken that attitude, the Jews would still be in Egypt. If Joshua had felt that way, the walls of Jericho would still be standing. Church, we never know in advance what God may do. Mm -hmm. That's why we can never rule out the possibility of a miracle coming your way. Do I have a witness? When you're asking God to feed the hungry in the world, when you're asking God to comfort the sorrowful, when you are asking God to intercede in the world, you will hear the same response that Jesus gave his disciples 2,000 years ago. You give them something to eat. Disciples, no doubt, me? You say, give them something to eat? I don't have no bread, don't have no meat. And you're saying, give them something to eat. Yeah. But 
Have you ever thought about it? The reason he tells us red oak to give them something to eat. There are no other hands and no other feet of Jesus but ours here at Red Oak. That's why our mission is so important, Sister Eatman. He needs our hands. He needs our feet. He needs our voice. If you're going to be his disciple, the first thing you got to do is deny yourself. That's the problem with most of us. We can't get out of our own way. We don't want to deny ourselves. Can I get a witness? But if you're going to follow Christ, you got to pick up the cross and follow him all the way. In our text was a large group of hungry people. There was a need. What do you do with a need? You meet the need. That's what is expected in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. The church was never meant to be a country club where all we do is entertain ourselves. Mm -hmm. We ought to have our eyes open to the needs of the people in our communities. Mm -hmm. We are to be co-laborers with Christ. Mm -hmm. Although the church may have limited resources, but when we put it in the master's hand, yeah. Go ahead. a little becomes much. Mm -hmm. God asks us to do the impossible and then he gives us whatever we need to do it. Jesus said, if you can believe, all things are possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To the lame man he said, rise, take up your bed and walk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To the ten lepers, he said, go show yourself to the priest. And the Bible said, as they went, they were healed. Yeah. Yes. Suppose they said, no, ain't no need to going down there showing ourselves. This, this ain't going to work. That won't do. But just do what he tells you. Yeah. Yeah. Bible said, when they left, they were full of leprosy. Yeah. But on their way, yeah. go show themselves to the priest. Yeah. When they got to the priest, I thought about the old song, Brother Meeting, that they used to sing. I looked up my hand. Yeah. Yeah. They knew. Yeah. Looked at my feet. And they did too. Yeah. Oh! What a wonderful change has been wrought in my life since Jesus came in to stay. Can I get a witness? Yes. Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Sit down in groups. And Jesus took the loaves. And when he had given thanks, he distributed the disciples. And the disciples gave it to those that were sitting on the grass. 5,000 folk were fed that day from two fish and five barley loaves. And listen, listen at the Listen to what the text says. And when they were all filled, God from Zion yeah. just didn't whet the appetite. Yeah. But when they were all filled, oh, yeah. that's what the Bible says. Yeah. There were 12 baskets left over. Uh -huh. Talking about when a little becomes much. Yeah. Then after the Everybody was full. Jesus said to the disciples, gather up the fragments that remain that nothing be lost. Jesus used a young boy 
and his disciples to bless others. God uses us today to help other folk. That's what mission is all about. The good news I brought you this morning, my God shall supply yes. all your need yes. according to his riches in glory. As I close this morning, church, remember every miracle started with a problem. Yes. Problems are those situations engineered by God to bring us face to face with our deficiencies and to remind us God is bigger than any problem we can face. Yeah. We should learn to love our problems. Yeah. Pastor, you, you made a mistake there, didn't you? Talking about we should learn to love our problems. That's exactly what I said. Uh -huh. why, why you say that, Pastor? I said it because if I never... I said, if I never, yeah. if I never yeah. had a problem, yeah. how would I know yeah. that God could solve it? Yeah. But through it all, yeah. I said, through it all, yeah. I have learned to depend on him. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness? Yeah. The good news for you Red Oak this morning, he will conquer your fields. He will defeat your enemies. He will destroy your doubts. And he will move your mountains. He will calm your storm. He will be your strength when you're weak. He will comfort you when you're lonely. He will lift you up when you fall. Church, God never fails. God never fails. He abides with me. He gives me the victory. No, God never fails. Just keep the faith and never cease to pray. Just walk up right, call him noon. Day or night, yeah. and I guarantee you, he'll be there. Do I have a witness? Uh -huh. Won't he be there? Yeah. The song said, there's no need to worry, for God never fails. Yeah. But through it all, I said, through it all, I didn't come to brag this morning, but I just came to testify about the goodness of God. I'm talking about when little becomes much. Some folk don't like to like to re forget where they came from. I remember. I said I remember. I didn't come to brag, but I remember Sister Tabron when I didn't have but one little black suit. Can I get a witness? I didn't come to brag, but this morning. I could have worn the color I want to. Ain't God all right? I said, ain't he all right? Won't he make a way? Won't he do it? I said, won't he do it? Won't he open doors that no man can close? Won't he feed you? Won't he make a way? Yeah! Yes, he will. When I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say that I've been blessed. I've got a testimony. And if some of y'all won't so cute, you could join me in the praise this morning. Because you know where you came from. But God's been good to you. You got a roof over your head. And it's not leaking on you. You got food in your fridge there. You got food in your deep freeze. Ain't God all right? Is he all right? Why don't you thank him? Why don't you tell God thank you? Why don't you praise his holy name? I don't know how you feel about it, but I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise, I said his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will 
I said, I will. I will praise him from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. When the little become much, some years ago, some of y'all didn't have nothing. But when you look around this morning, you've been truly blessed. God took your little and made it much. Didn't he do it? Didn't he do it? Didn't he do it? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! 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 Yeah!
the church say amen. Both now available. 